Okay, let's get started. So what you're gonna need is an oversized t-shirt. The one I chose is this tie-dye one. You can also make your own if you'd like. So you're gonna need some thread, a needle, some scissors, a marker or a pen to mark your shirt. So let's start by marking off where we want to cut the collar. Cut off about a two inch collar. I'm going to cut the front side first. Don't worry about the jagged, edge, the jagged edges, you can always go back and fix them later. Do the same to the back side. Now right here I'm cleaning up the jagged edges and the unevenness that I had on either side of the shirt. Voila. Now let's start with the sleeves. I'm going to cut up the middle of the sleeve and cut along the seam of the shirt to create a U-shape. And do the exact same thing on the other side. Snippity doo da. Get it? Now we are going to create the razorback shape by just drawing lines um, to make deeper sleeves. Now I'm going to cut off any access that I have. I did go back and actually end up making a deeper razor back that I will show you in just a moment. So here's the ending result. You definitely want the t-shirt to be a design, a defined razor back shape. Now you're just going to cut where the razor back meets the collar. Then from there, cut three equal pieces. Now you're going to tug and pull on those pieces so they turn into long, stringy pieces for the braid. I wanted to make mine very long so the braid would be a lot smaller. You can do it either way if you want. Once you're finished, you can also tug on the um, strands of the braid to make it a little bigger. Now I'm just going to cut off the excess and braid to the end. Now what you're going to do is um, take your needle and thread and sew the edges of the braid so there are no longer um, random strands hanging off. You just want it to look very clean and um, have no loose ends. Tie up those loose ends, girl. Now I'm going to cut that off and it should look something like that. Now what we're going to do is find the middle of the collar and sew the braid to the collar. This doesn't have to be perfect. We will be covering this up anyways. Just sew a couple stitches to the back so it's secure. Cut it off. Now you're going to um, clean up any edges that you have along the collar that you want to fix. I wanted it to be very clean and precise, which I didn't exactly get, but that's okay. Now you're going to take that scrap of shirt, cut it into a tiny rectangle, and sew that around where the, where the um, braid meets the collar. You're just going to sew a couple stitches so it is closed. And then once you're finished, cut off the loose end and twist the band so the stitches are hidden. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I'm like super excited to wear this. I'm about to wear something like my milkshake brings all the boys to the pool. <laughs> okay, here is the final result. Um, I'm super actually like excited and proud of myself for this one. So like this video if you like this design and think about trying it. Um, yeah, it's super easy too. And it looks like you kind of paid for it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.